Greetings, I'm Malin and today I wanted to discuss kind of my complicated relationship with music. So I think I'll start from growing up. I listened to quite a lot of music, you know, it was kind of a thing that we do, you know, when we were in the car, there was lots of CDs around, my parents would play music at home and I loved going onto the computer, going onto iTunes and downloading the CDs and kind of putting on music and adding music onto the queue and listening to it and singing along to it as well. And, you know, that kind of continued on through my life. And in primary school, I picked up guitar and kind of enjoyed that. And then I kind of continued a bit in high school, but then I stopped because I didn't really, I didn't have a good teacher, you know, I kept getting shifted around with teachers. And then I found a really good guitar teacher when I wanted to restart when I was about 14, 15 and I had him for about six months and he was a musician and um, he was a really good teacher and I really liked him, got along well with him. And then, you know, in school, you know, I didn't really like many of the academic kind of studies and then I kind of got into music and did that and it was, you know, really nice to do and I enjoyed that so then I did like this vet music, I got a certificate out of it and um, it was different to the other classes, you know, like we had three periods, we only had one day a week where we'd have like three hours and we'd just spend that doing music kind of stuff. And I enjoyed that, you know, I had a, a good friend that was in that and I enjoyed doing the music. I, I loved listening to music on the way to school. I loved just being immersed in it all the time and I loved to write music and I loved to play and learn it as well. Um, and it was a good way to kind of for me to attach to something and kind of have hope for something but it was also a way for me to deal with kind of like my more negative and sensitive kind of side but eventually that kind of turned into like this toxic kind of attachment that I had with music you know like I for example I was listening to it so much that you know my mind was always in a buzz my mind was always racing you know and I wasn't really calm and I wasn't very present and it was really taking away my quality of life and, you know, affecting quite a bit. Of course, there were some other um, things that were kind of affecting it, but that was also playing a, a, con a, con that was also contributing, a contributing factor to it. And eventually it kind of became also this toxic kind of attachment where it felt like I was entitled to like this pain and suffering and through music I kind of wore it as a badge of honour you know like oh yeah I'm kind of like this loner loser guy and like look at me I'm kind of suffering through these kind of things and I'm negative and I'm going through worse things than you and that affected I think my relationships with other people and friends but also just really my mental health because that's a terrible way to think that's a terrible way to go about the world. And then, as I noticed that when I was trying to make after school, I wanted to create a better life for myself, you know. I had been into soccer and through that, I kind of found this sense of kind of fulfillment, you know, that I could change my life. And I had also started working out recently, so around 16 to 18, you know, and I was working out and I realized that, you know, I can actually make a change and I can do something for myself that makes me feel better about myself. And then I've kind of gone into like this kind of masculinity space where, you know, it's all about hard work and, you know, making your dreams come true and being like a man. And I thought I had kind of a crisis with music and that's kind of occurred maybe the last two, three years. And, you know, I felt like I couldn't be a musician because it was too sensitive and I had to be this I had to be this sto stoic person. I had to, you know, I had to be a man. I had to grow up and grow a harder set of balls. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Um, and although this is kind of beneficial, you know, I did need to learn to grow a bit more of a spine and kind of take care of myself. I didn't really acknowledge that I do have a more sensitive and compassionate kind of nature and that got expressed through music 
and I have a very long relationship with music and I do really love it and it, and I had trouble trying to find how I could listen to music without and be a musician without having it um, kind of affect my life in a negative way you know because it kind of went against this image that I had of myself of what other people wanted me to be of this you know this strong man that women would love and that um, would gain respect with other people and I never really thought you know like who am I what am I good at and I have a kind of a natural inclination towards music I don't want to kind of talk myself up but I've listened to a lot of music and I have a pretty good sense of creating music and I have a good dedication to it as well you know like I really do enjoy listening to it and creating music and working on that and it's a satisfying kind of thing but now I'm I had to kind of accept that you know like accept that part of me and realize like oh this is kind of part of who I am I can't really change me being so sensitive I can learn to deal with it better I can learn to kind of um, notice my reactions and sort of thing when I'm around people but that's something that's going to take a long time to kind of develop you know and music can be a way for me to kind of express that and kind of share it with other people but to also kind of try and make a positive impact you know and so now I'm just trying to create music that's that's expressive of who I am and, and it's something that you can't it's something that's kind of you know cloudy you know it's something that kind of happens you can't really choose how you create music it kind of happens and I'm trying to tr to steer it towards a more fun kind of thing because I had this experience last year when I moved away from home for the first time and I was talking to one of the personal trainers that I had for um while I was doing a soccer program, a soccer academy up there. And he had been a musician, so we, I kind of asked him about it, you know, like what sort of music he did. And he's like, oh yeah, we did kind of cover band stuff and it was really fun, you know, we were just having fun and kind of doing that sort of cover band kind of thing. And then he asked like, what sort of music do you enjoy or what sort of music do you find the most fun to play? And I was kind of like shocked, I was like, I'd never realized or asked myself, you know, what music would I enjoy playing? What music do I have fun listening to? What music do I have fun playing and learning? And it kind of shocked me, you know, because I'd never thought about it in that way. I'd always thought, you know, oh, music's kind of this, like this sad kind of righteous expression, you know? And I was like into like really, really grunge era stuff, you know? And lots of these people, you know, they ended up um, committing suicide and you know that's a terrible thing and music can be tied to kind of like these negative things but and it's kind of hard to be an artist and be sensitive and emotional and have that tied to your identity and try to be a man and try to have a fulfilling like life and have satisfaction in yourself but that's something that I'm striving for at the moment and figuring out as I go so have, if you have any ideas or kind of comments or like to share your stories, then please comment. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.